What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be opening a brand new set. It is Incandescent Arcana or Silver Tempest as it's gonna be known in the English set. So this just released on September 2nd in Japan. So it took a little while for it to get to us, uh, which is fine. Usually shipping from Japan were anywhere from two to three weeks. It's not terrible. This one I have not bought from this seller before. The other one didn't have it up for pre-sale and I just wanted to See if somebody would get it a little bit quicker, but it's all right. So you can already tell, look at those beauties. We're gonna get straight into it, guys. So big ones out of this. So obviously we got the Vulpix. My, oh, do we do pull tabs on these? It's been a while since I've opened Japanese. Oh, we're gonna do scissors. So you do have God Packs in Japanese, as you guys know. So we're hunting for those. I really want the Jinx out of this. So these are smaller. Packs, let's adjust this real quick. So you can tell there's not 11 cards per pack. Ooh, did you get a cool Mewtwo? Look at the look at the reverse. God, these cards are done so well. But Mewtwo's cool. Uh, Jinx, who else do we like? Uh, the Vulpix is pretty cool in this set. It doesn't have a, they don't have an alt art. The Gardevoir alt art looks really good. But it is a, it is a smaller set. I think it's like 96 cards, but you know, Japanese does subsets. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Oh man, look at that. Arcanine. Does it so well. They do subsets and then in English we combined a lot of these sets. You guys did not know that. Now you do. But I do wonder, maybe we'll get the God Packs one day in this, but we'll see. We'll see. The reverses. Try it. Usually you get one. It's usually still one secret rare per box. I wanna say, I don't think this is a 36, 36 pack box. I think we're looking at 24. Normally I do, there we go, a superior V and a, and a V, and, and a V star. I didn't know we'd get both of them. Look at that. <sighs> Takes it. So we got one V star on it. But we'll see how the, the rest of the pools goes. But yeah, so if you look at some of the other Japanese sets, um, for example, like we just got that Charizard um, in Lost Origins, and that was, shoot, that might have been like six, seven months ago. Ooh, God, look at you. Oh, and a trainer, which th for them, they're, you got character rares, and then you've got double rares, which are just their standard Vs. But look at this, Moltres. Love them. Usually, and you get usually pretty stacked out of one of these. You know, it is a smaller amount of cards but it's all right i mean do we really need all the bulk no i definitely do not need the bulk especially japanese bulk you know i throw it in with with english bulk but that's really about it i know what some of you guys are thinking normally i open booster box or i've started opening up booster boxes a little bit different but i wanted to open them up standard way which is individual packs like this uh you know for god packs these cards are so so uh, they don't really stack well. They just slide around because it's you know it's a different card stock. I generally always use scissors on on long packs like this, uh, especially if they have pull tabs. I don't don't use pull tabs, guys. That's how you damage cards. I've done it in the past with Dragon Ball, which I didn't notice until. You know, when you're looking at grading cards, you look very, very carefully at every single card under, you know, heavy light. Uh, and that's where I started noticing it. There would be a very light indention on the card. And that was from the pull tab hitting it at the top. So don't use them. I would definitely not recommend them. I know nobody likes to use scissors on, on packs because it's not the same. It's not the same feeling, but that's all right. It's all about the contents. Here we go, little, little baby. Ooh, and the V-Star, that's, so that's been, is this how they drop it? It's not, I don't open a ton of Japanese, obviously, uh, but I want to, because I've gotten really big into uh, Japanese Dragon Ball, which is Super Dragon Ball Heroes, uh, and I've bought a lot of Japanese uh, singles uh, for Pokemon sets, and same with Yu-Gi-Oh, just because they grade, they grade so well, and they are so nice. We pulled you already. Which that's all right. It's still, uh, still Entei. We're about halfway through this booster box. Still no secret rare yet. 
I pulled uh, two V stars, and that's there's still plenty more. But yeah, definitely get these. They're Japanese booster boxes are actually pretty inexpensive. You know, you're looking at I think I spent 60, 65 bucks or some something like that, and they're that's about average. They actually go down a little bit to the old for for sets. It's like Lost Origin will come down. Uh, whatever set was before that, I can't remember all their names either, just because they're they're all different. But they'll come down in price as well. So if you're looking at some, whew, look at this beauty! Oh, it's a double. So we now have a Radiant. In case you, I don't, I don't know what the K means, uh, but we now have a Radiant Alakazam, and then another trainer. Let's look at this guy. Best looking card so far. I forgot this was in here. That's going to look baller in English. If you guys are Alakazam fans. Radiant's throw me off because I just forget about them. And then boom. Radiant. Ooh, let's get that back. Let's get you out of the way. Let's keep rolling Guard of War. I have no idea what this guy's name is. It's like BB-8. The Pokemon version of BB-8. But yeah, definitely get some. Uh, some of the sets do really well. Uh, this next shiny set in December will probably be my first Japanese case break uh, to see. Well, it depends on the card list. You know, it's a shiny set. It'll probably have a Charizard. So, you know, everybody. Oh, I pulled the Jinx that I wanted. That's what I'm talking about. Now you guys can see. It's a, it's a really cool Jinx, guys. So I'm definitely happy to get one of the cards that I really wanted from this set, which was the Jinx. And we got this awesome Alakazam. I'll do a quick recap at the end, too. Let's see. What do we got left? Uh, just a couple. Hey, still, I don't know if Jinx is technically good. I don't think that's an, I don't know if that's an alt art. I don't know what they consider alt arts in these, to be honest. It could be, maybe. That's a, it'd be a cool looking alt art, but I don't know. Let me know, let me know in the comments. It's, some of these sets, it's honestly kind of hard to find good information um, out there as well. All right, we've got three left, four counting this guy. Arc nine. Ooh. Look at this guy. Mawile. I This one might be the alt art or a alt art. I'm pretty sure Maul, this is a Mawile uh, alt art. Look at this. Let's take, let's take a look at you. See, Japanese just does so well. Very clean card, clean cut, no print lines. Bag it, baby. Let's throw you in the back. Yeah, I think there's like three three alt arts. I think that's one of them. So we'll take it. And it's a... So I don't know. The, so you got character rares, and then I think it's character super rares. Is I think that's what it is. Hey, if you guys are big Japanese buffs, correct me. It's okay. I don't, I'm don't. i not offended at all by my lack of knowledge. Another Mewtwo. I right, two packs, and I think we're... Probably about tapped on what we're gonna get out of this, but hey, you never know. We pulled three of the one, three, three bangers. All right, last pack, and then we'll do a quick recap for you guys if you guys are joining us at the end. Because some people like to skip to the end. Honestly, I do it on a lot of videos, and that's okay. Because sometimes you're just trying to gather as much information as you can, and then you go on with your day, and that is okay. All right, so that's what we ended up with was the beautiful Maul Wild, the Jinx. We got that Alakazam back there. Look at all this stack. So let's grab these guys. All right, welcome to the recap. So we got here's a character rare, standard V. So we got two V stars. Oh, look at that Moltres. Another V, V star. So we got one, Superior, Vulpix, two, three, four, four character rares. The character super rare, which is gonna fall in a secret spot. And then you got this beautiful Radiant Alakazam. So I'd probably take, I know the Mawile's probably the banger of the box, but I'd probably have these two as personal bangers. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about this set? Are you excited for it to come to English as much as I am? Let me know if you guys do buy some. What are you guys pulling out of these? But hey, good luck out there.